Keith, you're the January Cash Converters Player of the Month. How pleased are you that the, the supporters have recognised your contribution through the, the first month of 2014? I'm obviously delighted, you know, and thank everybody that voted for it, first and foremost. And, you know, it was a good period for us, um, certainly over the Christmas period and, and into the new year. And we knew it was going to be a vital period for for picking up points. The game's come thick and fast and, uh, you know, luckily enough for us, we managed to do that. You know, the one disappointment at Celtic Park. But apart from that, you know, it was a pretty good month for us and, and hopefully something that we can now build on. You had some good victories in that. You know, the, the Hearts game was an important one. And albeit it wasn't a, a victory over Aberdeen, it was an encouraging performance against a team who are, who are really on form and have shown that in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, well, you, you say, you mentioned it, you just see the last couple of weeks what Aberdeen have, have, have gone and done. Um, you know, pretty much get through against St Johnson pretty easily in the end, you know, a decent St Johnson side and then go to Parkhead and, you know, not only win but go a goal down and, and show the character to come back and win. So yeah, we could have on another day we could have won it. You know, another day we possibly could have lost it. It was just one of those games with a lot of chances at either end and um, you know, it was a it was a draw, maybe that was a fair result at the end of the day. But um but you know, I mean I think there was encouraging signs there from us and Certainly here at home, I think, uh, you know, the last uh, month or two, we've certainly started to make this place a, a bit of a fortress for us and hopefully we can continue to do that from now to the end of the season. How are you happy and content with your own form? You've mentioned quite extensively about the team there. You know, obviously, play of the month, something must be going right, but, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, talk us through how you're feeling in yourself. Um, Young-ish. <laughs> uh, no, I feel good. You know, I feel, you know... Uh, fit and healthy and uh, you know I think I've, I've, I've said it on numerous occasions certainly the most enjoyable period of my career has been the last last couple of years and and um, you know I, I just want to try and continue that and you know hopefully I've been able to do that again this season and, and uh, you know be able to continue to do that because um, you know I certainly feel uh, as if um, you know I'm, I'm contributing to the team and you know if that's, that's it's the be all and end all for me or Obviously, you want to do well personally, but for me, it's all about it's all about the team, and you know, <clears throat> hopefully, any contribution that I can make, or the better the contribution I can make personally to that team, then you know, uh, the better for everyone, and that's what I'm concentrating on. And, and uh, as I said, you know, th this last month has been an enjoyable one for myself, just to be part of that team that's been playing so well and and playing with confidence. And uh, from a personal point of view, I just want to try and continue that now through to the end of the season and hopefully can be another successful one for the club. Oh, I hope you don't mind me telling our viewers that you're 34 now. <laughs> you signed a two-year deal in 2012, which obviously runs to this summer. With what you've said there, would you are, are you obviously keen to keep playing? Oh, of course. You know, um, it's at this sort of age. It, it's, um, you know, people start to ask you these sort yeah. of questions. Flo, thanks very much <laughs> for that. But, um, but no, I mean... You're only as old as you as you feel, I suppose, and, and it's it's you know I think there's been plenty of examples uh, in recent times of players that have played well into their thirties yeah. and late thirties, if you like, some even into their forties, you know. Um, uh, but you know I, I think there's plenty of examples out there if you look after yourself in the right manner and and keep enjoying your work and enjoying uh, staying fit and, and being as good as you can be. Then you know I, I see no reason why you can't. Um, you know, continue, and at the end of the day, you know, it's all about are you contributing to the team. You know, what are you bringing to the team? You can be twelve, or you can be forty-two, but you know, if you're contributing to the team, which hopefully I'll, I'll try and continue to do, then hopefully there'll be a place for me here because, um, you know, certainly I've got no plans of of uh, even considering, um, you know, finishing, and uh, hopefully that will be, uh, you know, a long time in the future to come. You played a pivotal role last season too, you know, won a couple of actual league player of the months, obviously continued that this season as well. How do you feel this period in your career rates to, to any other, including your obviously you know time early at Mullow and obviously down south as well? Yeah, the best, there's no doubt. You know, I said before I've mentioned it to to, 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 to other people along the way in these last two or three years, four, five years really, since since I come back to the club really, but you know, certainly for me the last two or three years I feel as if I've been my best. Um, uh, Would you put that down to you know, just experience? I don't, as a yeah, I think I think that's a little bit of everything, you know. And, and uh, first and foremost, enjoying more than ever the environment that I'm in and the and the uh, and where I'm playing and and you know the added 
a little bit of responsibility now of being the captain and you know I've, I've taken that as a real honour really more than anything to be honest and to be asked to, to do that job and and um, you know and being part of a good team and, and playing for some real good managers uh, as well which I have to mention and um, you know just being part of a club that is it's hopefully going in the right direction tries to do uh, things on and off the park as well as we can with the, the you know the financial constraints that we have and for me to be a small part in all of that is I think it's been a really enjoyable for me um, and you know as I said before long may it continue but um, you know in terms of on the park I think the more experienced you get you know you pick up you know I've, I've never been the fastest player in the world if you like so I'm not going to lose any pace and and uh, in that sense, but what I'm going to gain along the way is a lot of knowledge, and I feel as if maybe my game awareness and 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 things like that are certainly improved and improving all the time. And you know, you're never too old to learn, and I still feel as if I'm learning off, as I said, different managers that I've had in recent times. And um, and Stuart McCall's no different. And um, you know, as I said, the biggest thing for me is an enjoyment factor, and I think I think that sometimes happens the the kind of longer you go into your career and. Yeah, you you, uh, you start to you start to enjoy it more. You, you start to appreciate what you've you know the, the privilege and the and the, the the opportunity you've got to go out there and play football every Saturday in front of you know in front of the fans and you know that's certainly something that I enjoy more than ever now. Let's go back to the year and now. Positive or negative that it's been a, a three week break between Aberdeen game and and Party Thistle this Saturday. Yeah, I think I think a little bit of both as always, but you know certainly I mean negative in the fact that I think we were probably out with the Celtic game on a real good run in terms of um, our results. Um, but I mean, I think the positive has got to be, I, th I think there was a lot of niggles in the camp, a lot of, uh, by that I mean injuries and things like that, and uh, things needing cleared up. Um, and uh, hopefully it's given a lot of boys, you know, not maybe even some of the documented injuries, but there's a lot of guys in the dressing room just carrying little bits here and there. Um, and 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 it's also a good time of the season, even to get a little mental recharge, if you like. I think it's a good time for that. I think you know, there's a lot of been talk of a a winter break, and I think we've had an enforced one, if you like. But I think hopefully it's came out a good time for uh, for that side of things, and everybody's recharged and ready to go for what is going to be hopefully an exciting end to the season. And um, it's something that you know, boys have come in uh, this morning at your training and you can see that we're, you know, just desperate to get back out there now and, de you know, desperately looking forward to this Partick Thistle game coming up. Not that I want to remind you of it, but was it tough to watch the Scottish Cup at the weekend, you know, seeing other teams <laughs> and certainly it was tough for me, I, was, I think I just ignored it over the weekend. Yeah, it was, to be honest. Um, you know, it was the two weekends, really, it was just both Cup weekends and I think it's just still a sense of frustration there to be honest and um, I'm sure the fans are the exact same and the players in that dressing room are, are no different manager and yeah you want it to be you you want to still be in the cups we know what it's like to get to finals and you know it's it really is a um, you know a great thing to be involved in the latter stages of the cup competitions as I said not just for us but for, for the fans and uh, so it's yeah a real sense of frustration to be honest um, I caught some of it, I don't like to watch too much of it because you end up sickening yourself even more. But, but yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the boys took the opportunity to, to even um, just have spent some time with their families for a couple of days here or there. And I think sometimes over a whole season, <coughs> it can sometimes be good to get that opportunity just to maybe get away for a couple of days from football. Uh, hopefully, it just gives you that, you know, um, re energises you to get back into it and, and back into. Well, it's going to be a, a you know a big game for us come Saturday. You mentioned that. What are you expecting from Partick Thistle? Because we had a really good performance against them at the back end of December, five one. James McFadden, fantastic that day. But I think it's fair to say Thistle have probably added three or four players since then, and mm -hmm. are probably likely to be a, a different dynamic for you and the players to have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. We've already spoke about that. You know, I think Partick of of um, you know certainly done well in the January transfer market in terms of they've, they've brought in some good players there and. I mean, even the games we played, we go back to the game here, <coughs> I think Partick will count themselves unlucky, to be honest, to lose that game, because I thought first half we may be on top, but second half they certainly put a lot of pressure on us and, and could easily have, have got an equaliser anyway. And then even at, at, at Fur Hill, I mean, on the face of it, it it wasn't there that day, I think 5-1, it was a walk in the park, but, you know, Partick could have been 2-3 or three up before we, you know, got going, and then, you know, you're looking at a totally different game. Um, so, you know, 
don't get me wrong, once we got in, we, you know, into that game, we felt as if we performed pretty strongly, but you know, we certainly know that, that, that it was a little bit closer than that on that, that occasion. And we know that Partick, you know, since they've come into the, the league, have, have, uh, have been a breath of fresh air, really, in terms of the way they've went about it and the way they want to play. And it's, it's certainly it's something that's maybe cost them at times. They've been a little bit open, but um, it's certainly, and more so away from home, They've certainly went and punished some teams themselves, so uh, we've got to be wary of that. They've got the capabilities of doing it, and um, you know, as I said, they've, they've shown in the two games that we've played them so far, they're certainly more than capable of um, causing us problems. So, you no, know, we've 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 got to be at our best uh, come Saturday.